We've talked about the scam grifting around the virus, and we previously mentioned this super rich televangelist scammer, Kenneth Copeland. Copeland's 83 years old. He's built a net worth of seven hundred and sixty million dollars, if you can believe it, on the backs of scamming poor Christians out of money. Now, poor might be economically poor or cognitively poor or I don't know. You know, you, you, you can interpret that however, however you want. But it has afforded Kenneth Copeland private jets and houses and cars and the whole thing for this guy. We have a new clip of him finishing coronavirus by commanding God to destroy it. So we're going to look at the clip. If you're listening today on the radio or to the audio podcast, um, I encourage you go and find the YouTube clip for this story because the visual is really important. You're going to see Copeland behaving like a lunatic, but he also has another guy next to him. It's almost like a hype man at a lectern next to him, sort of repeating some of the things Copeland says, egging on the insanity. It's really, really crazy. And remember, for Kenneth Copeland to do this stuff, You've got to keep tithing. You have to keep sending him 10% of your income. Take a look at this. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office of the prophet of God, I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan. You destroyer. You killer. You get out. You break your power. You get off this nation. I demand Amen. judgment on you. I demand. Oh. I demand. I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. It actually makes me physically uncomfortable to watch this stuff. It's not like a cringe reaction. It's almost like a GI distress. Like I start to get nauseous watching this stuff. And of course, all of the normal contradictions, Satan brought the virus, so he commands God to destroy it. Why didn't God merely prevent the virus in the first place? He's asking for a vaccine. Well, who makes the vaccine? Is it God? Why would God allow the virus and then make a vaccine? Why not just prevent the virus to begin with? Seems simpler to me. Oh, oh, David, come on. God works in mysterious ways and you've got to keep sending Kenneth Copeland money. Let's watch a little bit more of this if we can tolerate it. I call you done. I call you done gone. You come down. From your Amen. place of authority, destroyer, you come down and you crawl on your oh. belly like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. What really gets me about this is that in this context where this guy has like a congregation, I guess you'd call it or maybe it's a ministry. I don't know. In this context. This guy's wearing a suit and there's cameras in the room and he says, send me money for these rants. There is no practical difference in terms of what this guy is saying between Kenneth Copeland wearing a suit in front of cameras and, you know, a guy ranting in the subway who should be committed to a psych ward. And I'm not saying that pejoratively about the guy in the subway. We're talking about mental illness here, right? The difference is one guy's wearing a suit. The other guy's not. One guy has cameras filming him. The other one does not. One guy has marketing behind him saying you should be sending in money for this stuff. The other guy does not. That's the only material difference here. Now, some people would disagree with me and would say, David, Kenneth Copeland's not crazy. He's just evil. He knows that this stuff is lies. He's doing it not because he believes it and he's crazy. He's doing it just to steal people's money. I don't disagree. The point is the rhetoric is the type of stuff that paranoid schizophrenics in psych wards would normally say he may well be acting just to get people's money, no doubt about it. But the only real difference is the marketing, the PR and Kenneth Copeland has better lighting than the guy ranting on the street corner. If these faith healers really had the powers, go to a hospital and heal someone seriously ill from covid-19, right? Go and put your hands and, and say your prayers for someone on a ventilator and heal them. It would be immoral not to 
if this nonsense actually worked, then we'd have something to talk about. Really sad that old folks keep getting scammed. They keep going out. They're getting haircuts. They're hanging out at malls. They're ignoring social distancing rules. And part of it is they can send this guy cash to pray away the virus. Part of it is, uh, you know, watching Fox News and the rhetoric there. It's very, very ugly stuff. And it's not a joke. It's not a joke. People are actually dying as a result of this. One of our sponsors, NordVPN, is giving you 70% off a three year plan, which comes out to just a little over three bucks a month. And you'll get an extra month free when you go to NordVPN.com slash David Pakman or just go to their site and use the coupon code David Pakman. It's 2020. There is really no reason not to be using a VPN. Not using a VPN means you are not taking your internet safety seriously. I use NordVPN almost any time I'm using the internet. It hides your IP address when you're browsing online, keeps you safe from hackers, keeps websites from tracking your browsing activity, many advantages. And NordVPN is the most trusted VPN in the game. They don't log your internet activity like many other VPNs do. Their servers are super fast and you can even use it on your phone. NordVPN is giving you 70% off a three year plan that's just over three bucks a month plus an extra month free when you go to NordVPN.com slash David Pakman. I've put a link right underneath the video or just go to their website and use the coupon code David Pakman.